Okay, so uh, we'll continue with the topology of oviparous. Sure. So here we'll uh, study the covering spaces uh, using the uh, fiber product approach of uh, Thurston and then uh, also by path approach by uh, Hefliger. So some helpful uh, references are uh, Thurston, Ovipold, and cyberspaces in chapter 5 of uh, Snowt. Then again, this uh, Cambridge University Press book, and then also chapter 13 of the Radcliffe's book, and this book by Bryson and Hefliger, and then Hefliger here. Also, this. So uh, please see through these. So, what is a, a covering space of ovipole? So, let x prime be ovipole with a smooth map P from x prime to x. So that for each point of x there is a connected model and the inverse image of this image of u is a union of open sets with models isomorphic to u uh, g prime pi where uh, pi is the uh, goes to u uh, mod g prime is a quotient map and the g prime is a subgroup of g so then uh, p uh, x prime to x is a covering map and x prime is called the uh, covering ovipole so necessarily this is subjective because we are talking about each point here. So for abstract definition you can uh, consider this as a groupoid and uh, so x prime is x1 x0 space so x1 is the arrow so uh, it will connect up the uh, so th these will act on x uh, prime 0 as well and uh, and p uh, is a covering map so then uh, x prime is called the uh, uh, covering uh, so, uh, so this is much more technical definition. So uh, here x1, x1, x prime, and uh, um, and uh, it, so these are sort of uh, patching things uh, between x, uh, x, uh, x, so the space of x prime zero, so that it uh, gives you a consistent uh, covering. So we can see there's an ovipole bundle over X with discrete uh, fibers. So um, so we can choose the fiber to be acted upon by some discrete group and hence the principal G bundle. So if the discrete group acts on this space, then um, freely, then you can think of it as a principal uh, G bundle. So it does, uh, it's not always a principal G bundle, but uh, when it does, uh, it's called the regular or gal Galois covering. So Galois, we use Galois because these are uh, in general groupoid. But uh, of course, uh, in the ovipole, uh, covering uh, in the topological sense, regular is probably better uh, terminology. So uh, as an example, let uh, y be a manifold and y tilde uh, be a regular covering map uh, p tilde with automorphism group gamma. So let gamma i be the uh, sequence of subgroups of gamma. So uh, then we can put uh, a projection. So this is just a, a set of right courses of gamma i. So this is a discrete set. So of course there's a projection to y tilde from this product space, which is a covering map. Uh, now we can uh, mod up by gamma here, and the uh, y tilde mod gamma is uh, y. And this uh, gamma will act uh, like this. So gamma uh, of x tilde gamma i gamma i, so this is a right co right coset, one of the right coset element, and this uh, will act like this. So if you multiply by my gamma minus inverse here, then of course this is uh, uh, going to be a left action. Uh, actually, you can think of this as a, a y tilde mod gamma i uh, going to y. So if you take this quotient, you see that this uh, gamma i will switch all the cosets, so the only coset that, uh, only elements that are, uh, that acts on this x tilde are ones in uh, gamma i, so the identity uh, coset. So there it will actually act, but uh, if it's outside, then it will uh, move to a different component, so only uh, action really uh, work, working is just the gamma i action. So this, uh, you can think of this as that. Uh, so now we can do a fiber product of this uh, this space by uh, taking. So if you have a sequence of these, then you can do a fiber product by just uh, 
taking product of the fibers. So since you can think of these as the fibers. And then we act again by the left action. So here, these are just the sequences of the right uh, cosines of gamma i. And uh, it will act like this. Uh, then if you take the quotient, then uh, you obtain a fiber product of this, uh, th th these maps. So fiber product of this, then we can, we can think of this as a fiber product of this. So actually it's a fiber product of these, these things. So that's because uh, you only, uh, you will always have uh, fibers being taking, taken product here. So, so these are just a nice manifold example. Uh, but uh, now we consider a gamma acting uh, discrete group acting on a manifold uh, properly discontinuously, but uh, maybe not uh, pro freely. Uh, then uh, we can find the uh, sort of collection xi of covering so that uh, uh, so this this xi xi is not the previous xi, but the, the, uh, so think of this as a covering open sets covering the y tilde, so that gamma i is either preserving the xi is finite and if any two of the images intersect then gamma i is in gamma i. Of course this gamma i is not the previous gamma i but it's just uh, some finite subgroup uh, of acting on xi so these open sets. So and then so, uh, images of xi cover uh, y tilde gamma. So suppose we can find this covering so it, it always exists. So then uh, so then you can, uh, if you look at the quotient uh, of this y tilde, then it is actually called ovipole quotient of y tilde. So in case, uh, so these these will give you the uh, model neighborhoods. So okay, so so once you have these, then you get an atlas of model neighborhood. So therefore, this quotient space has an ovipole uh, structure, and this uh, quotient space with that ovipole structure is called the ovipole quotient of y tilde, and y itself is not then. Uh, to be uh, said to be developable. So in the above example, we can let gamma uh, be the discrete group acting on y tilde properly discontinuously, but maybe not freely. Then yf is uh, again the fiber product of all before maps. Okay, so so here uh, you you let this gamma be the ones with the, perhaps some fixed points. And this construction will go through uh, without any problem. So it will be in general just different from uh, just uh, doing the ordinary topological uh, fiber product. Okay. So uh, we can also do the uh, some as an example of covering map. We can do a doubling of all before with mirror points. So mirror points is a single points with stabilizer group C two as a, acting as a reflection group. So this is when the G2 acts with some hyperplane uh, or hyperspace uh, being uh, fixed points. Uh, of course, there are lots of G2 actions. So uh, one can double an ovipole M with the uh, mirror points so that double uh, mirror points dis disappear. Okay, so, so the doubling, double covering ovipole is orientable. So let uh, VI be neighbors of M with these uh, UI, GI, VI, VI charts. And then we define uh, new charts by uh, taking ui with the product of minus one one and gi uh, vi star. So where gi will act differently. So if you have x l l is uh, minus one or one, and then uh, here you act by multiplying by the signature of l. So signature is one if g is orientation preserving minus one if it's not, and uh, phi star is a quotient. Uh, of this this space under this new action, okay. And then of course, uh, for each embedding, uh, you can also do the lift like this, uh, again with the same action and same quotient maps. And uh, so there's a parenthesis here. So this will uh, define the gluing. Okay. So uh, so result is a double all before then the local actions are always orientation preserving. So you take all these. Uh, sets and glue by uh, using these sort of embeddings, then you get a, a doubled ovipole. Okay? And uh, here, uh, the occur group action is always uh, orientation preserving. So this double covers the uh, original ovipole with the Galois group uh, 
plus two, so you can uh, verify the the, the because uh, for each point you have minus one and one, and the G two will uh, act by switching these two. Okay. And the set of fixed points are the sort of middle points, and, and there might be even more than uh, just the middle points. So uh, in the abstract sort of definition using the group void, we can like uh, zero prime be the orientation of double cover of x and gx on x prime by uh, uh, preserving the orientation so so g will act on x prime uh, but the, it, it will switch components if the g has a different uh, signature and, and so on i mean if it ha if it reverses if the arrow reverses the orientation you have to go to different uh, component of the, uh, the elementary set so then the construction is the same as the one so we, uh, so for example, if you uh, double a, co a neighborhood of a co with a corner reflector, then it becomes a cone point, because you will have to uh, remove all the uh, reflection points. Yeah. So, uh, so let's look at some more examples. So, clearly, manifolds are all poles, and uh, manifold coverings uh, provide examples. So uh, let uh, y be a teardrop orbifold with a cone point order n. So this cannot be covered by any other type of orbifold. So it's actually a universal cover itself. So we will introduce universal cover uh, a little bit later. So let's look at another sphere with two cone points of order p and q, which are relatively prime. So, so for any of these surfaces, you can always uh, put in these cone points by removing the points and then uh, inserting pasting back with the uh, these uh, disk with the cone points so these are again uh, this is again a universal cover itself but uh, you can also give a cyclic uh, action of group order m by fixing these uh, these cone point here for example y then the uh, or or this and then y mod cm is an orbital with two cone points of order pm and qm so in this case and uh, of course uh, when for this case, you will have a q equal to one. Okay, so so those will be some examples of an orbifold with a universal covering orbifold. So now we will uh, want to talk about the uh, universal cover of uh, using the fiber product. So uh, universal cover of an orbifold is an orbifold y tilde covering any orbifold of y, any covering orbifold of y. So uh, we will uh, show that the universal covering of all before exists by using the fiber product constructions. For these, we need to uh, discuss the elementary neighborhoods. So an elementary neighborhood is a one uh, open subset with the charts uh, whose components of whose image, inverse image is the open subsets with these uh, charts, model charts again. So uh, we can take the model open tet to be charts uh, to be the simply connected ones. Uh, so uh, so that then this will this will serve as the elementary neighborhood. So such an open set will be uh, elementary. So as long as you choose the open set uh, to be simply connected, then it will uh, work. So uh, as an example, we can uh, start with some d uh, ball d to n. With some finite group action, so let B be uh, D N mod C here. So any so any covering of this, you can think of uh, you can see that this D N mod G one for a subgroup uh, of G one of C. And uh, given any covering of it for D N mod C and D N G two, covering morphism is given by uh, some element C so that the G uh, conjugated. Uh, G1 conjugated by G goes into G2. So you can see that uh, it must be that. So if, it, of course, the morphism is not re uniquely represented by this G. So the covering morphism itself is one-to-one -one correspondence with the double process of form uh, like this. So G, G2, G, uh, G2, G, G1 for G such that the G, G1, G inverse goes to uh, G2. So we can make a one-to-one -one correspondence with this double coset because if you change any element by G1 here, it doesn't change anything. And then if you change anything by G2 here, 
it wouldn't change anything because uh, I mean if you have a G1 element it doesn't make any difference C2 element here it doesn't make any difference here so so that's fine and uh, covering automorphism group is a uh, DMIZ prime is given by NZ1 Z1 so this is the normalizer of Z1 so it's just G1 going to G1 okay so that's the uh, uh, so discussion of D and mod G and uh, we can take a fiber product of these things so uh, given any covering uh, from uh, BGI to BG for GI and Z for B homeomorphic to cell so we can uh, form a fiber product like this so this is uh, exactly the same construction that we talked about and then uh, so if you choose all the subgroup GI of G then the covering of BZ is covered by this fiber product uh, induced by the projection to the GI factor so so any any uh, so BF will cover any any uh, BGI because it is in the in the list here so this this gives you the universal property so BF will uh, give you the universal cover So the uh, uh, so for construction of fiber product uh, of a sequence of all before, so let uh, y i be a collection of all before coverings of y. So uh, we can uh, cover y by elementary labeled b j for uh, b j forming uh, some good cover, and then we take the inverse image uh, p j inverse b j, which is the joint union of b k. Uh, GK for some finite group GK, so it will be of this uh, form. Uh, then uh, we fix J and we form uh, one fiber product uh, by uh, B mod GK by taking one from these each of these components. So we, we just take the component and see what this looks like, and then we can form a fiber product over that. And uh, uh, so. Uh, so, so fix J, we can uh, form a fiber product of uh, PI inverse BJ, which will essentially be the discern union of our fiber product indexes by the products of component indices for each I. So there might be many components, so you have to, uh, you have to just uh, list, or list them all, and then for each of them, you get this sort of fiber product. Or it, you can just think of it as a fiber product of all of them also. So over the regular points of Vj, this uh, this is just ordinary fiber product. So now we can uh, we wish to patch this up using the embedding. So let uh, u be going into uh, model neighbor be going into Vj intersect Vk. So then we can assume that the u is Vj uh, intersect Vk, which has a convex cell as cover. So uh, so you can think of this as convex cell by uh, uh, by using some sort of a normal neighborhood of Riemannian metric. So you can always give a Riemannian metric on the OV4, so, so you can use that to obtain this. And then we uh, form a fiber product of the P, PI inverse BS above, and this can be realized over the BJ and BK. So over the regular points, uh, they are isomorphic, so, so they are actually isomorphic, so you can identify these. So by patching, uh, we obtain a covering YF of Y with the covering map uh, PF. Okay, so this is the uh, construction. Okay, so let's go to a third sense example of fiber product. So let I be the unit interval. So make uh, two endpoints into several points. So then it's double covered by uh, what I call I1, uh, S1 with the deck transformation group G2. So this is a uh, uh, one which flips uh, along the x-axis. And let P1 uh, denote the covering map. And I2, I is also covered by I2 by the map sending x to 2x and then x to here. So of course uh, we need this to be smoothed. So this is uh, not uh, smooth at the moment, but uh, we need to smooth it a little bit. Uh, so then the what is the fiber product of p1 and p2 we can uh, cover i by these uh, three sets a1 is from 0 to epsilon and the a2 is epsilon divided by 2 to 1 minus epsilon divided by 2 a3 is epsilon 1 
So over A1, I, I1 has an uh, open interval, and the I2 has two half open intervals. Okay, and the fiber product is a union of uh, two copies of open interval. So if you apply the, so this is a G2 uh, group action. So you take uh, one, uh, and then you take two of them with G2 action, and then uh, and then you have to uh, modify the G2 action again. So then uh, you get two copies of open interval. And uh, over A2, so bo both of them are just the uh, two uh, copies of uh, open interval. So, so taking the product, uh, you get four copies of open intervals. Over A3 again here, uh, uh, so this will be a union of two copies of open interval. So here, um, uh, for I1, you get a unit, uh, just an open interval with G2 action, and then the, so over uh, for the uh, for this one also you get a, a I I2 with a just an interval with G2 action here. So uh, so then you have to take a fiber product of that, and then uh, you see that uh, that has to be the uh, union of uh, two copies of open intervals because. Um, uh, because that's, uh, uh, so, uh, right, so the, uh, so this is like I times uh, G2 times G2, uh, modified by, uh, G2 action. So that's, uh, why the, this, uh, this thing will work. Okay. So if I draw this, uh, it will be looking like this. So this will be I2, uh, and then this will be I1 mapping to the unit interval. And then, the, so over this uh, A1, you get these two, two uh, open sets, and then uh, these two open sets will cover that, in the fiber product. And then, the, so here, uh, you get, the, for over here, you get uh, this open interval, and you get, again, an open interval, but there's the two actions. So, um, so fiber product will just be the union of these two copies. And then you, you need to understand how they patch up together. Okay, so that's the difficult part. So by pacing construction, we can obtain a circle mapping 4 to 1 almost everywhere. Too.